Hi, my name is Sin. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a very simple sequential workflow using Windows Workflow Foundation. Uh, we're going to create a uh, sequential workflow console application. And when you create that project, what it does is it creates a blank sequential workflow uh, where you can drop your code activities. So I'm going to go ahead and drop three of them. And a sequential workflow is just that. It's a piece of workflow. It's a code, uh, it's a code that will execute one after the other. So we'll create a simple one here that asks for the user's name. And then one, the other one will welcome the user. And the last piece of code here will just wait for the user to press a key. So let's double click the ask for um, name activity. And we'll give the user a prompt. Please enter um, your name. We're going to make this a write, console write. We're also going to introduce a variable that will hold the user's name. We have type string and we'll call it username. So we'll set username to equal to console that read line. Okay, that completes that activity. Now let's go to welcome user, which just simply prints a welcome message to the screen. We'll put a line break there. Welcome, whatever the user's name is, this dot username. And the last um, activity here is just to wait for a key to be pressed. Actually, we're gonna do read key because this is a DOS application. So if we run it without um, this part here, you you won't see it as soon as it terminates. It'll just exit out. So let's give this a quick test. So here's activity number one, asking for the name, and so I'll type in. Activity number two says, welcome, Lori Sinchioko, and activity number three is waiting for me to press a key. That's it. In this video, you learn how to create a very simple sequential workflow.